Hi guys, today we are going to show you the blue ambient LED door handle lights in 2020 Toyota Corolla. I will turn them on. This is how it looks. We have a LED in the driver's door and we have blue LEDs in all other doors as well. This is how they look in the back of the vehicle. And this is how they look from the back of the vehicle. LEDs do look cool. They do match the lighting inside the vehicle. Okay, I'll show you right now. First of all, they match the switches, as you can see, and the rest of the lighting inside the cabin. Right now I will turn off the power, all our lights are off and um, when I push the engine start and stop button once, this is when our uh, driver's side light will appear, but the rest of them are still off and they will turn on when I press the button the second time. Now we have all four lights on. All lights will stay on uh, while the ignition is on. If you like this product, I will leave the link in the description and uh, right now I will show you how the installation was done. This is how the light looks like. Right here we have the blue LED element and it's been integrated into this uh, plastic cover which uh, gets installed in place of the OEM which is located right here behind the door handle. We have uh, two types of connectors. Uh, we have this uh, one with two rows. This one is meant for the uh, driver door and this one, the flat one, all flat ones are meant for the passenger doors. Uh, installation is going to be very simple. It's plug and play. Uh, we have, this is actually the T-splitter. This will get power from our uh, switches, door switches, and uh, this small connector will get connected to this one. First you will need to remove the uh, passenger, in this case this is a passenger door, remove the master switch from here. As you can see, uh, you just need to use the trim removal tool, just pry it open, and you can disconnect uh, this connector. The next step will be to remove this plastic cover. Again, it's very easy. Right open it, it comes out immediately. Now we need to install the new cover with the LED. The way it's done is uh, this uh, uh, wire that you can see right now is being pulled through the opening in the middle, right there you have to push it through and it will come out uh, in this opening where the switch was. Push it through, and it may not go in the opening right away, you have to play around with it. You may or may not be successful, if you are not, you can also use the fishing wire to pull it through. We did not manage to pull the wire through by itself, that's why we decided to use this zip tie as a fishing wire. And as you can see we will attach the end of the connector to the zip tie using tape. And now we will try to do it this way. Here is the other end. There is some sound deadening material in this door, that's why it is, it is slightly more complicated than in the back, for example. But using the zip tie, you should be able to pull it through.
Now we will attach the LED with the cover inside the door handle. Fits perfectly. The next step is to attach uh, T splitter to the switch. This is the original connector. The T splitter goes into the switch and the other end gets connected to the original connector. And this wire will provide the power to the new LED light. Now you can hide all the wiring inside the door and install, install the switch. This side is done. We will show the driver's side as well. Try open the master switch. Pull it out. Next, you can do the cover inside the door handle. Again, we will use the zip tie. So we'll have to attach the end. So it's a lot easier to pull it through sideways like this. There is more, more space over there. And the connector comes through as well. It's pretty tight there, but it's still possible to do it. Disconnect this small connector in this case. and use it to speaker. I will turn on all the lights and uh, this is how it looks during the day. Obviously it's not as visible as at night, but you can still see uh, LED is working in the front and in the back, left side and the right side. Uh, one more thing I want to point out that when we were doing installation in the back we actually didn't have to use the zip tie. We managed to just push the wire through. The reason for that is uh, there is not as much insulation in the back doors as in the front ones. Also, when you use a zip tie, it's a good idea to get a zip tie that is not as thick as this one, because it will be easier to pull uh, the wire and the connector through. That's pretty much it for the installation. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave the link in the description if you guys like these lights. You can check them out and uh, we'll see you in the next video.